doing, Jersey? Welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom, Friday, December 19th. You know, politicians in Jersey City don't have the best reputation historically, but give them this, they sure seem to have the Christmas spirit. Former Mayor Brett Schulner fought a court battle for years against the American Civil Liberties Union because he wanted to put a creche, that's the baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph, seen in statues on the front lawn of City Hall. Finally, an appeals court, federal appeals court, finally said he could do it so long as he also had secular images like Frosty the Snowman and candy canes along there with him, right there by the baby Jesus. I'm serious. Now, Mayor Jeremiah Healy, the current mayor of the city, has recorded and released his own CD of Christmas songs. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the now, it looks like Schundler and Healy are going to face off again in the May election uh, for mayor. Schundler wants his old seat back. Lou Manzo, a former assemblyman, is also throwing his hat in the ring. And you know what? The pressure is going to be on Lou to up his Christmas game. Can you drive a sleigh, Lou? All right, speaking of white Christmas, it is snowing like crazy outside right now, but is it me or are they really quick to cancel school these days and call snow days? I came in at 8 o'clock this morning, not a single flake of snow had fallen and wouldn't fall for another two hours, and already the list of school closings, nine pages long. And there was a lot of comments coming in on my Twitter feed this morning. I have about 1,500 people from across New Jersey sending me their thoughts on my feed. And a lot of them were like this one, Lewis DG, who said, amazingly, they've canceled school already and it hasn't even started snowing, wusses. Now, I know I'm going to sound like an old geezer here, but when I was growing up, the school superintendent got in his car at 5 o'clock in the morning, drove around the town, and if he didn't slide off the road and crash into a tree or something, we all went to school. Nonetheless, I guess it's probably a pretty good decision to have canceled school. It's getting pretty nasty out there. Here's some footage from just a few moments ago outside our building. And it's pretty bad. A lot of spin outs, a lot of cars uh, having trouble making the turns out there. The plows look like they are on their way. So, all right, when the economy goes bad, certain items, merchants will tell you, stop selling altogether. And other items, interestingly, start selling like crazy. Columnist Mark Diono today writes about how neckties and fruit baskets, things like this in this time of year, can be real indicators of where the economy is heading. John Shoopy has this video. The holiday gift basket was once a top seller for Bob LaMonaco at Summit Food Market. But orders are down this year, one of many signs that the economy is failing. The expenses are killing us, period. Insurances, taxes, the commodity price this year for ingredients going into anything you made was up 30, 40, 50 percent, sometimes double. Fuel charts back uh, several months ago were out outrageous. They killed it. Uh, electric bills are out outrageous. And the rents in this town are pretty tough. LaMonaco and his wife Joanne say the gift basket is their bellwether for holiday sales. Not long ago, they'd sell 200 baskets at this time of year. Now they figure they'll be lucky to sell 30. People are just not spending money. They're, they're cutting back. You don't have the corporate uh, people buying things anymore. They're not giving out the gifts like they did before. They're probably not even having parties like they did before either. So this year's going to be tough. That looks a lot healthier than what we had yesterday. Yesterday was our pork roll Taylor ham episode. We've got a great reaction. If you haven't seen it, you can check that episode out and all the other 100 previous episodes of Ledger Live at nj.com slash ledger live. Now we put up a poll along with the pork roll recipe, um, pork roll episode yesterday, in which we asked people the big question, do you call it pork roll or do you call it Taylor ham? And the results are in, 358 people voted, 67% said it's Taylor ham, not pork roll. So I did discover during the, the reporting of this whole thing, as we did this, that it really seems to be a North Jersey, South Jersey thing. I, I grew up in North Jersey, I never even heard the word, the phrase pork roll until probably I was 25 years old. At Taylor Ham, it was always Taylor Ham. So it's gonna be another regional difference between North Jersey and South Jersey there. Doesn't matter to me what you call it. Bob Bickler, the guy in the video, said, put it best, who cares? Call it mud, it's good. All right, one more thing, the winter sports season, high school sports season is upon us and we have tons of video you should check out, especially if it's snowing, hunker down, watch a video, check out uh, what's coming up in your local sports scene. And that's at highschoolsports.nj.com. Just a lot of video. Swimming, wrestling, 
basketball, boys and girls basketball, the works there. All right, that wraps up Ledger Live for today. Send us your photos, your videos, your emails. Ledger Live at StarLedger.com is the email address. You can always log on and sound off on the news blogs at NJ.com as well. All right, Jersey, take it easy.